Good Thursday. We're at it again. We are at it again. Gosh, help us. <laughs> We're unboxing. I'm a little worried about this one too. The auction said it was new, but the pictures looked a little like maybe it needed a little cleaning. I didn't really see any scratches. It's a stainless steel griddle. Why did I buy it? I have a stainless steel griddle. I have this one. It's got an aluminum base made in USA. I think it's kind of vintage, I'm not sure. This is a Cuisinart. Now, it could be 90s to 2000s. There's a griddle that Cuisinart made called Grand Griddle 1983. You can find them on eBay. People want a lot of money for the used ones. This one right now is on Amazon for $144, something like that. I did not pay that. I think it was 20, 20 or $30. The guy offered me a discount and I took it. It might have been 30 something and he offered me 26. The problem is the old ones were made in Belgium. This was made uh, in Korea. The reason I wanted it is one, I think it's big. It might be bigger than the one I have. And it has a copper core base. And you know, we all love copper. Who doesn't love Revereware for, for its copper? Um, so the guy offered me too good a deal. It, it came with a box. It looked like it had some kind of smudging, dark smudges on the steel. And of course I'm thinking, well maybe I can clean it. But he did list it as new, and I couldn't help it. And you know I just unboxed that uh, Farberware fiasco, the total fail fiasco. It has been returned, I have not been refunded. So I figured the money I spent on this was less. Don't want to get the COVID. COVID. It, it does look pretty big probably too big for my stove. I'll bet you. I'll bet you it's too big for my my stove. Whoa. Uh, I hope there's a date. You know, I really hope there's a date and I hope I can clean it. So I'm not getting the Belgian one. I'm not getting the vintage one from the 80s. But maybe, but it still has the copper core. Copper sandwich bottom. Let's find out. Let's find out what we got. Let's find out if I've if I've been had once again. If I've been had. And I'm, I was hoping that Mother's Mag or Barkeeper's Friend would get rid of whatever those smudges were. You ready? Here we go. It looks it looks a lot better than it did in the pictures. It does have discoloration. I see, I have, I see like three, four, five hairline, six hairline scratches. But that's, but that looks, that's newer than my current one. Oh, hey, you know, I don't know if you can see, but there's a copper. It's very thin, but it's copper. This is very heavy. See, the old one said uh, Grand Griddle 1983. Let's just see how big the base is. Ten and a half inch base. And my current one, nine and a half inch base. So I am gaining space. Camera angle, camera angle. I'm gonna try just soap and water first before barkeeper's friend. Soap and water did not get the discolorations off. I don't know if the camera shows them. We're gonna try barkeeper's friend right here. Just a little bit. Let's just get a little bit of barkeeper's friend and some water. Spread this around a little bit. Uh, 
All right, let's rinse her off. Oh, it took it off. Oh, it's pretty. <laughs> okay, that discoloration is all gone. Ooh. Oh, I'm happy. The little things in life. I'll, I'll give it another washing. This was just to see if I could get the stains off. 1998. It's pretty cool. 1998. You know, I was thinking the 90s. Somebody's gonna have to make some eggs in the morning. Tomorrow morning.